I don't know why you trying to act like you cleaning up. Shoot, I'll be trying to hit, bro. I love the Cougars. She look kind of cool. Shoot, I'll hit it with her still wearing that shirt, too. Aw, oh, man, I'm from the old school, brother. Gee. You know to drink a beer in store. Hey, man, I'm going to pay you. Mm, I like what they did with the camera right there. You getting on my nerves. You hurry yeah. up and buy. <laughs> I know they freaking parody this scene a lot too. That hurry up and buy sh You can't move up on somebody like that, bro. Hey man, why don't you go ahead and get my homeboy? I like how the movie just like starts like this, man. And won't you give my homeboy a chance? I don't want any trouble. Just get out. I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> oh, they starting this scene off already? I thought this was gonna happen later on. What you say about my mom? I don't want any trouble. Just huh? get out. Just come on, Jim. I don't want his mother. You got so you got oh shit! Now you got some DNA all over the damn register, dumbass. Jackpot, kill you. Go! Went to the store just to get a beer. Man, yeah, that boy got you messed up, man. See, after that, we can't be cool no more, bro. This is the type of movie y'all into, bro. This is the shit y'all be into, bro. Golly, no wonder I ain't watched shit as a kid. <laughs> I wanted to watch kids. Shit. The ride was touched off when three drunk driving suspects. What are we doing? What? When the ride stopped, the drug started. My father so dope. Samuel Jackson? was a heroin addict. Yo, man. Moms and pops were real popular in the neighborhood. Dang, that's messed up, man. Your dad got your mom on that shit. This party here for grown folks. Brother man from the fifth floor. Yo, one of the things about that beginning scene that I didn't like is how that dude pretty much made the whole situation worse, bro. You already know that they was dealing with some like racial profile stuff, but like, come on, man. You made that situation worse too, bro. Okay. What you doing out there, room? I'm just out here playing, mama. Boy, you better get your little in that room for your daddy catch you. You hear me talking to you? Now! I mean, he was he was moving towards you, like, golly. You gotta be quicker than that. He showed me what being a hustler was all about. Wow, this dude had no good role models in his life. Yeah, Bro, how can you really have a wife who's a junkie, bruh? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Say, Jack. Lady here looks a little tired. <laughs> and y'all just laughing like this is cool. I the f I ain't got your money yet, man. <laughs> what the f you mean you ain't got the money yet? Motherfucker, you best be coming up with my cash else, you know what I'm saying? How do y'all expect the kids to sleep through this? What you gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Oh, no, nah, squeeze it. Yeah, because then he ain't got to pay your ass. <laughs> I told you I'll pay your monkey ass. I feel like it. Better suck my dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's when you gotta light his ass up, bro. <laughs> that dude just disrespects your ass in your house. Damn, he saw that as a kid, bro. First dead body. And then y'all watching this as kids, too. And wondering why y'all dealing with trauma. <laughs> I got used to it, though. Oh, he high as hell, too. That dude look like he about to freaking OD. And for those of you who are coming back, I'll see you next week. For all the bullshit that shit, they all coming back. You already know how this thing goes. Shoot, look at her hair. She definitely knows she coming back. Growing up out here, there was shit that can be learned in no classroom. Yeah, I see. You said it wrong. Learned. <laughs> it can't be learned. Yeah, because this old big one doesn't work right. Jada Pinkett when she was fine, bro. <laughs> you know you don't have to keep buying them stuff. Why did the Wayne's brothers choose this movie to parody? Let's make it in the house. Ronnie was Pennell's girl before he went to the pen. Anthony came right after that. Oh, that's your homeboy's girl? My pops was killing a drug deal when I was 10. Just out and open like that, man? You still a rookie, bro but my mom's died from an overdose, so I just stayed. I hope y'all do not show us that. I'm not trying to see that. 
grandma, you got to fix that wig, man. It's sitting to the side. I was prepared for that dude's grandmama to be the, the that one lady that plays like damn near everybody's black mama. Graduation night. My homie docked through a party. My cousin Harold rode with me. So y'all just walk out in the street without looking both ways. The person that's driving and almost hit y'all. Y'all get mad at him like he did something wrong. Who the hell is this dude? Get his ass out of the damn party, bro. Why is he dancing like that? What? Dude, off beat. Hey. <laughs> no, you ain't dumb enough to be showing the robbery tape, man. What's up with that? You just having fun with the tape. <laughs> Funny to me, though. <laughs> of course, because you ignorant as Bro, this dude don't care if he get locked up. Boy, think it's funny that you kill somebody? My God, bro. Let me break these motherfuckers right here. Y'all about to give up the snaps, you know what I'm saying? AWACS was older than the rest of us. His voice sounds familiar. Was that dude in San Andreas? He was funny to us. It got to a point where he just liked to see other people do dirt. Yeah, that boy sound like an informant. America's nightmare. Young, black, and didn't give a f Yeah, he trying to prove himself in the streets. And he obviously ain't got no dad. You know what's black folks not used to this cold there? You the tropical people, you understand? Then why your tropical ass sitting on the goddamn cooler? To keep you fools from drinking this poison. <laughs> oh, so he's the dude that freaking Wayne's brothers was parried in that was wearing the daishiki. Sharif was an ex knucklehead turned Muslim. He was so happy to be learning something he liked. He kept coming at us with it. He was always talking about going to Kansas to play football. Tell you, man. And then he messed it up. Cause that boy was trash. <laughs> So you just gonna throw that in somebody's yard? God, Lee, disrespectful, mother. Hey, y'all gonna follow us, right? And we know where it's set for. Where the blacks be at? It's cool, man. <laughs> He's still trying to clean it, bro. He's trying to get that dollar. Prince, y'all. Yo. So, who's had Jack in the Box? I've never had Jack in the Box, bro. I'm tired of them. Why are you rubbing on yourself like that? You got some X in you? Get the out! Break yourself! All right, Dollar General Ice Cube, chill out. I'm not about to get shot because of your bald headed ass. I'm getting out the car. Move! Shoot that do you? You! Damn! You was too slow with that Jack, come on! Oh my god, that boy twitching, bro. What the hell? Hey man, we gotta get him to a doctor. Come on. Then what about him? Come on, man, we can't leave him like this. It's not right, all right? He's dead, man. I mean, he might not be dead. The way he's still moving a little bit. That boy look like Ryder, man. Without the glasses. He look like Ryder and Sweet mixed together. We have to fill out these forms first. Damn, why y'all gotta cuss her out, bro? Just say you need a doctor. This dude dying. For the people who saw this when, when you was a kid, bro, like, what, what was you thinking, bro? What was what, what it that you liked about this movie so much? Are you surprised or is it that you don't wanna see me? Yeah, no, nobody don't wanna see your crazy ass girl. girl if you don't get out of my you. damn hospital room. I told them I would come get you and they could stay home and relax. Girl, you need to retwist them. This is hanging for dear life. <laughs> oh, wow. First I get shot, then you gonna drive me home. Somebody must want me to die. <laughs> he tried to say I can't drive. That boy looked like the little dude from uh That's So Raven. Zozo, Zozo, my little ginger snap. How do you feel? Fine. Not a smidge of temper. Not a smidge of temper. <laughs> mm, this seemed like that movie, That's a Wonderful Life. What is it that y'all love about That's a Wonderful Life so much? I understand it's like a Christmas classic. Never seen it. And then you gonna come on out today or what? Yeah. Hell no, nah, bro. I got no, shot. I ain't coming out hey, no more. Kevin. Come on inside. Yeah, you come over here and sit right there on the couch. <laughs> on the couch that's covered in uh, plastic wrap? Yep, you already knew. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I remember them days. <laughs> I wonder if some people still do that to this day. Boys, the Lord didn't put you here to be shooting and killing each other. Exodus 2013. Sir, I don't think God really cared too much about us. It's all fucked it's messed up around here. So you know about respect, but you don't respect other people like that? I guess that says something about him with being friends with him, that he respects him a lot to respect his family. Do you care whether you live or die? Obviously he does, bro. He almost died. I don't know. Oh, for real? It ain't no thing. Oh, but that ain't what you was hollering on the way to the hospital. Hey, you was, oh. 
<laughs> Shoot, let me shoot your ass and see how you freaking sound. What? Stay up, Kane. Who? Who? Don't die. That wasn't me. Trying to act all caring and sensitive. I know where they be kicking it at. Down with a 187. If somebody came and jacked y'all and shot you, would you uh roll on their ass? I don't know if I would, bro. I think I'll just let that shit pass. I'm not trying to risk myself getting locked up. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Man, you yeah. Oh my God, Pinky! You always trying to put on yo, show. Yo, dog, 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 yo, yo, dog, let me get a double. Dude, showing off too damn much, bro. Dude, look like a person that peaked in high school, bro. Keep talking about this damn tape. Ain't ready for the hole in the mother. Uh, why would you put that in my face, though, bro? This what the police. Yo, 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 you were scared too. You almost pissed on yourself when he put that in your face. I smoke anybody. I just don't give up. Look, all right, not me, all right? I'm not killing no kids. You act like a little right now. Now these motherfuckers smoked your goddamn cousin in front of you. You ain't gonna do shit. This whole thing sounds familiar. Did somebody parody this whole scene and say this word for word? That sounds so familiar. Both of y'all acting like some mother <laughs> Scared to kill these plump ass <laughs> cat. Look at my mother Oh, they did this shit in San Andreas, bruh. Hey, yo, Dean, why don't you go ahead and hook us up with one of them dogs or something? Oh, you sh you What's the gang name? Hey, look, Dean, why don't you go ahead and get us one of them dogs? For my money. Like you got Grove Street. Yeah, the ballers, bruh. They really took a lot of inspiration from this movie. I didn't know this movie was that popular. Go home to your mammies, okay? Yeah! yeah. Right, come on. on Grove Street! <laughs> hey man, you got terrible aim, bro. That dude's still alive. Hey, homie, you need some help? Uh, 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 uh. Damn! <laughs> black on black crime, bro. That stuff is sad, man. That stuff gotta stop. Buy from you? You gonna trip about that? Come on, man. Go, man. I got two dollars for you, man. I know I'm a little short, but um. Dang, this is the crackhead that they parody the I got these cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> Wanna play me in boxing? I'll whoop your ass. Anthony, what did I tell you about your mouth? What? Why are you tripping? Because it's a Why am I kid. Tripping? Because he's five years old and he has no business talking like that. Well, that's the problem with the world today, man. You got these little girls over here repeating damn sexy red, and then people, oh, why are you tripping? It's not that big of a deal. See, that's the problem because you childish and ignorant. You ain't, you're not gonna achieve nothing. Boy, already accepted failure, man. Look, I'm gonna be in a room whooping your son in this game. I mean, <laughs> we gonna box and I, I mean, you know, a little something. Come on, man, let's just. Man, that boy disrespectful. I would've kicked his out my house. Where's the motherfucking cheese? Oh, man, that's from all that cheese I've been eating, man. All that cheese, all that dick you've been sucking, bro. Making all these damn faces like you're not even really playing the game, bro. Nobody make them faces like that. Now nah, I'm gonna wear y'all a little pump. And I said, you hold it like this and pull a trigger. Why would you show a kid this, bro? What the hell are you doing? I don't want my son learning to pull drive-bys. This dude disrespectful like a mother. Yo. Oh, y'all made something to eat, ain't make me shit. Yeah, bring me some You ain't was this like an indie movie or something? Because one of the things that I also noticed with a lot of indie movies is they tend to do some stuff when it comes to the lighting. You see, like, whenever they're in a certain building or whatever, they'll have, like, different color lights. Black Nissan Maxima. It's got to look exactly the same, okay? Yeah, they don't. Cool, cool, cool. All right, insurance company ain't going to give you no money for a car that doesn't run. Be here tomorrow night about, uh, about 1030. No, no problem. Tomorrow night, that's fine. Huh, did I stutter, mother? You ain't too scared to have a black man steal for your... Thanks. Take thanks. Man, you being abusive to him, isn't he the one that's like helping you get paid or something? That's another thing that they do in like GTA, you know? You steal people's cars and bring it to somebody. I'm here wasting my time. Don't be tripping, I'll be outside. Wow, y'all did not keep an eye out for security, bruh. Come on, man. Man, it's real messed up that some people would really choose this over like an honest living, bro. Some people, they do it for the thrill. Some people, they do it because it's easy money. You're quick money. It's not even necessarily easy. It's just quick money.
It's, cr it's also crazy how y'all do this without having any masks and shit. I'm guessing this wasn't the first time that they done something like this. <laughs> my god. Hey, get the dog off my own. And let me guess, the dude who got shot is the one who got chewed up by the dog. The judge reduced my crime from Grand Theft Auto to attempted joyriding. They let old dog off with a warning because he was still a minor. What? So that boy no younger than you? Oh to. my goodness. Oh man, come on, man. Who took me up this? You crazy? Fuck you up. <laughs> got these cheeseburgers, man. Man, I'll suck your dick, man. I got these cheeseburgers. <laughs> what did he say? Hey. Oh, wait, wait, man. Man, man, I'll suck your dick. Come on, man. Let's get me fuck. Ah. What the hell? I thought he was really gonna do it like how they did in the Wayne's Brothers movie, bro. <laughs> I just thought about it. The girl was, uh, she sound like and look like CJ's sister. I guess he's putting the gun right there to see if I'm stupid enough to reach for it. You brought the bottle of beer about 11.15? I bought the beer. And I accidentally dropped. After we was leaving, after, after I left, other people was coming in. But you don't remember what they... What they look... No, I, but you bought the bottle of beer at 12.15. Yeah, it was 12.15. Dang, he trying to mess you up, bro. <laughs> That's how they get your ass. And then you got two other cops right there listening, too, so they can definitely lie and say you said something that you didn't say. Without the tape, they had nothing. I know damn well I was snitch. I don't give a damn. Come on, brother. You wasn't there long enough to catch the HIV. <laughs> <laughs> That's a messed up joke. Oh, now get up from off your knees praying to that porcelain god. So where should I throw up at in? Hey, man, y'all need to stop calling each other niggas. That's what y'all need to stop doing. Anyway. Man, you need to look after your kids, bro. You got this damn pamper right here. Uh, so what's up? Y'all gonna kick it? Oh, uh, man, I gotta go scoop up one of my kids. One of your kids? I needed some rims bad. All I had to do is catch some food slipping. Uh, definitely with that hairstyle, that's an easy jack. Oh, uh, now it'll go good with that green, too. You just got out. Why are you trying to rob somebody? I want your mother Dayton's and your mother stereo. And I'll take a double burger with cheese. What the hell? <laughs> he he had enough when you said that double burger with cheese. He's like, take my car, bro. You ain't getting a double burger with cheese. Let me have a double burger, uh, some fries. What the fuck I said with cheese? <laughs> some fries and give me a milkshake. Come on, man. We supposed to be brothers. Oh, what, you trying to get smart? That me your mother Take that shit off. It's crazy how you saying this loud as When they got a speaker right here, they can listen to everything you're saying. Clean up before you leave, nigga. You better be 400. Oh, don't come at me like that, partner. I mean, like, I understand that this movie is basically trying to show what goes on in the hood and stuff, man. And it's kind of messed up that people go through stuff like this, bro. Don't get high off your own supply. I learned how to mix drugs when I was little. My dad taught me. Same. This is another one of the reasons why I kind of stayed away from these type of movies. Because I didn't like how damn near every black movie was dealing with this sort of topic. Like, I understand a lot of black people go through this. And this is kind of how it is in the hood and stuff. But it's just like, come on, bro. We can't think of anything else to showcase when it comes to our creativity, bro. To try to consider this to be our culture is kind of messed up. That's one of my natural reflexes. Oh, so what you like being? in my way <laughs> you gonna bitch you better watch you better watch your mother yeah. mouth, yo. god damn bro that girl always have an attitude what is up with her hey yo Kay, what's up hey what's up that's crazy that y'all trying to cock block right now bro i would have completely ignored them bro i would have tried to get up in the back seat man single line nigga god damn none of y'all ain't get no damn decorum well, you know, I smell that barbecue. Y'all know I ain't passing up on a barbecue. Uh, nigga, you look like a barbecue. Bring Mr. Butler a plate. A nice size plate, Keisha. Anyway, you a grown ass man. Go get your own plate, bro. What are y'all talking about at home? He's a good guy, man. That girl's a little slow on that plate, ain't she? Hey, Keisha. Hey, hurry up. Okay, they got a random going on in this movie. It's a lot of random shit. 
skipping between scenes and stuff is like, what is the correlation with the story? That's why I'm kind of thinking that really the whole point of this movie is just them showing what's going on in, in some parts of the hood and stuff some people go through. <laughs> I brought you in, I'll take you out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that boy looked into the camera and shit. So what are you gonna do, KD? You gonna <laughs> around out there in the streets till you get killed? About time you say some real shit. I thought you were just playing around with him the whole damn time. I was like, what's the point of this dude being in the movie? You know, Sharif used to get into all kinds of shit before he found the nation. And if Allah helps to make him a better man than Jesus can, then I'm all for it. Being a black man in America isn't easy. Mr. Butler had me thinking, because he was the only one who ever came at me like he gave a damn. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. Finally, somebody say something. I mean, like his grandfather was saying something, but he couldn't really get to him. Oh, you talking about baby in the black shorts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why you look down at me when you say that, cuz? Yeah, I leave pause, bro. Are you here for another? Are you boys like barbecue? Just get ah, shut up! You Pulled over. I understand that they were just talking about the racism and being pressed by the cops and all that type of stuff, so I wish they would have showed us them tracking them down, following them and shit. Like, this is just ridiculous. Like, really? And then they threw him out into the Mexican hood so they can get killed. Like, that's cool, Take care of it. But don't forget, all right, homies? Oh, snap, that was that dude that was in that one movie um, with the teacher in the school and the Hispanic kids, and they got, like, really smart, got, like, the highest scores on the test, and everybody thought that they cheated. Let's move on, I'm going to say. Don't sweat on Y'all see that we on the ground. Y'all about to step on us and jump us? I guess they was thinking we'd get our ass kicked even more. They took us to the hospital. Exactly. Like, what What did you expect? They already see us laying on the ground. They ain't assholes, bro. I feel Michael's sister. Please say black people. Well, no, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true at all. Some no, of us. If Kate got to die. Well, racism is like one of the weird mysteries of the world. Like, I don't know how that whole thing came about. What's the point, bro? The job is in Atlanta. Kane. You telling me that like you my girl or something, go. I mean, you might as well get the hell away from here. To be honest. <clears throat> girl, if you don't get off my bed, man, I'm trying to lay down. <laughs> like, move. Maybe you would come with me. After what happened with your kid, like you really yeah, I mean, want me to be with your kid? You okay. I mean, I understand she like grew attachment to him because he would come around and be like a father figure to her son and stuff and they would connect with each other. You saw how childish he was, but I guess she also saw how he was starting to change a little bit with the stuff that he was going through. You need to see a little bit more, especially after that sequence that you have with your kid and him. Like, I thought that would have completely turned you off. It was the end of the summer. Ronnie had a little going away party. Uh, could you please save some beer for somebody else? The wax in the house. Hey. And the hood rat. Oh, I thought that was the girl from Salt and Pepper. Stacy, how many times I gotta tell you don't smoke that crap in the house when Anthony's home? God damn, what are you talking about? You know, can you take it now, please? Now. You wanna go outside with me, man? So you literally throwing this type of party at your house? You already know these people are ignorant and disrespectful. Hey, this for the homies who ain't here. I thought he was about to pour that on his head. I'm gonna drink. Man, what's wrong with you, Kevin? Man, don't be giving this little kid no liquor. She got that <laughs> as a fatty, <baddies>, man. <laughs> Just because she asked to talk to me? That dude's real childish. I understand he's still a kid, but like, come on, bro. Why haven't I heard from you? I've been busy. Why are you tripping? You ain't doing jack here. Kane, why don't you just come with me? You not my woman. Like, why are you getting on my ass? I mean, I'm still gonna be black. Why do you say stupid shit like that? <sighs> you know what Anthony asked me the other night? If you were gonna die, Kane. I've never had a 40, bro. I don't even know how that shit tastes. You can, you can even tell look, the way I said it. Cause I said it wrong. 40, I said a 40, my bad. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. Right. Girl, there's people in the damn other room. Ah, damn. Seems like she really just trying to force herself onto this dude. Like he does not want her like that, but she just want him for some reason. Like why? Damn, she just had to do you like that, bro. 
Now she messed your mind up. Now you gotta go. And y'all listen to the whole thing. Y'all was on the other side of the door. Then do something about it, dude. Y'all really just gonna sit there and let him abuse this woman? You saying that's not that serious? This dude was freaking harassing you, bruh. That's unacceptable. Okay, I love how they shooting this. This is probably the best directing they've done so far. Damn, I would love to know how they did that. It's me. I'm pregnant. I knew she was gonna say that. What the f you telling me for? What? So you just gonna dog me? Stop lying, all right? Besides, I had the Jimmy on extra tight. I mean, if he really did have a condom on, you know, if it wasn't broken, I understand it's not like 100% proof, like safe proof, but. Ooh, I hey. bet you Kane won't be laughing after five will get a hold of this tape. B, man, man, let me, let me, just with Kane whooping this TV, you got Kane. Man, you need to whoop his ass. That dude just constantly talking. And why would this dude leave the tape over there? <sighs> he even looked like how he looked in damn South Central. Let me talk to Kane. I love you. Hey, if you really did love her, you wouldn't be in here. It's been a long time, Kane. How you doing, man? Can't even look him in his eye, bro. When I was growing up, it was like my dad, man. I wonder how he never noticed that, bro. Go with Ronnie Kane. Oh, man, the name and I... I know how she feels about you, and that's cool. Well, that's cool that he's understanding. I mean, definitely he know he ain't getting out. Take care of my son. Teach him the way we grew up was bullshit. Man, that was something he really needed to hear. See, this is the best acting he's done throughout this whole movie. Give me some. The fact that he started off not looking him in the eye because he felt like he betrayed him and did his boy wrong. So then staring him in his soul, bro, with that single tear, man, that was powerful. Oh, uh, homie, I, hey, I don't think you know me. Hey, well, check this out. I'm Alina's cousin, partner. She don't like the way you've been dogging her, and I don't either. <laughs> I haven't yeah, seen this dude in a movie in a minute, bro. Oh, I like how he snuck him right there. This dude be getting his ass whooping almost every damn movie he's in, bro. Hey, hey, get your ass in the house. <laughs> hey, at least you know that he always got your back, man. But he just he need to grow up. What y'all what y'all want me to do? I want you out of here tonight. I'm sorry, Kane. Sure, I'm sorry for that wig, Grandma. Look like you got that from the joke you. store. I hope you're not gonna mess up that girl's life, Kane. I mean, yeah, they tried to be nice with you, man, and you just took it for granted. There's nothing else they can do, really. I will say it is kind of messed up that now he's trying to turn his life around that they do this. But of course, they don't know this, though, especially after what they just saw. Doc dropped a dime on Chauncey's punk ass. Old dog was going to kill him if he didn't get caught by the cops first. Man, I ain't going nowhere, man. And you'll be a silly motherfucker you leave with this bra, man. Bro, how would I be silly, bro? We want it, dude. And then that's when there's nothing for me here. I, I keep getting into drama. What's this for? So you can take it to the car. I don't know why y'all want me to help y'all move. Sell out, motherfucker. That's being a sellout? My God, bro. But can you take some of these bags to the car, please? You keep bossing me around, I ain't going nowhere. You ain't going where? Oh, shit, I don't like how she said that, bro. You need to chill out, bro. Dude, there ain't no bed in here, but I can still put you up against that wall. Look, I just don't want you to go out and do something crazy. Wasn't he also in the uh, Wayne's Brothers movie and they whooped his ass in that movie too? And they always trying to solve stuff with violence, bruh. Thought you was gonna help out my brother. I hope they not about to shoot this little kid, bruh. Oh my God, no! That boy had a future too, bruh. Yo, now his dad, oh my God, bro. Damn! Oh, oh my God. Everybody got shot except for you, bruh. Everybody that had a future got shot except for you? 
Bro, what about the kid, bro? Did he give his life to save the kid or did the kid get shot too? Get off me! I gotta get Anthony! Get up! Ah! Oh my god, at least the kid is all right, bro. This dude really gave his life to save that kid, man. That's crazy. Damn, hearing this dude choking on his own blood, bro. Oh my, I don't like how they showing this dude eyes rolling in the back of his head. This shit got me shaking, bro. It was funny like that in the hood sometimes. I had done too much to turn back, and I'd done too much to go on. My grandpa asked me one time if I care whether I live or die. Yeah, I do. Now it's too late. Wow, that's how it ends? That's how, so this dude dies, bro? And it ain't nothing but a Compton thing, y'all. Nah, I think probably what happened is like, she probably encountered a pregnancy scare and thought she was pregnant. Cause I mean, like he said, he wrapped it up. And I guess, you know, since this is a neighborhood where a lot of people talk and they know people and shit, she probably knew about him and the other chick and she probably felt a certain type of way too. Cause she didn't want to be like that type of girl where a dude would just hit it and quit it. The two dudes that who actually had a future, bro, were the ones to die. And the one dude who didn't have a future, he the one who freaking stays alive. Like that's some BS, bro. But if you enjoy watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos and follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below, man. See, this is why I don't watch this shit. <laughs> All right, everybody, there we go with the uh, Minister Society. I I'm happy I finally got to check it out. Like growing up, I knew some things about this movie because from my family, they talked about it a lot. You see the shit on like BET advertised a lot, all that type of stuff. Whatever other black channel that they were showing at the time. I don't know. What, was UPN like a black channel or something? I don't know. I think like TV one and shit too. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I stayed away from movies like this because of like that very reason, bro. Like I didn't really like the people getting shot and shit i didn't really like the whole gang the drugs and all that type of shit i understand that there's people that go through that in real life and especially in that time in the 90s is when it was like really rampant and they just really wanted to show people what black people were going through and just like not even necessarily black people just people in those poverty neighborhoods and in the hood and stuff because there's also other movies with like uh hispanic people and that culture and stuff i just I, i'm not really into that type of shit like I, I know you like i said i know you're trying to get the message out and there's nothing wrong with trying to get the message out and show people what some people go through it just it came to a point where i really felt like that's all black people was ever doing come on we can't think of nothing else bro i'm like my gosh i know there's gonna be some people that's gonna feel a certain type of way about my reaction and shit i already know some people gonna probably think i was like a coon or uncle tom or some shit bro it's just with me like looking at it from like an actor's lens and seeing finally watching this movie for the first time Time and seeing how they was going about a lot of stuff i can see why people really love this movie because of the message and some people like really go through this shit and some people witness this stuff um but like when it came to like the acting standpoint to me i felt like the acting was kind of lacking at points there was some other points where the acting was pretty good i felt like when it came to the way they laid out the story I felt like that was kind of lacking too. Other than, other than that, it was a pretty good movie. And like, I know what the overall theme was and what the objective was when it came to this movie. They just wanted to, like I said, show off the message. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with checking out these movies now. Cause like, especially with me being an adult, I feel like I would completely understand these movies now and see what they're going for when it comes to like the artistic standpoint and when it comes to the messages and the themes. It wasn't as heavy as I was like, like thinking it was gonna be when I was going into it. Like I really thought that I was gonna be like sobbing and shit. Can't wait to hear your thoughts when it comes to this movie. What other movies would you like for us to check out? You know, you can put that in the comments down below. If you like to see my fully reaction to this movie, other movies I do TV shows, I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. I just, I, I, I know how the reception of this video is gonna be. I, I can already tell it's, it's going to be a lot of people not really liking it. <laughs> they, they're going to think that, you know, I don't get it. And we either keep making trauma movies. We making movies about people cheating on each other or somebody cheating on somebody or an abusive relationship. Or we making a movie about sports or we will have like a comedy ensemble movie that seemed like some type of family movie that of course they put it in every damn movie. They end up doing the damn cha-cha slide or some shit. 
<laughs> Another movie that I see a lot of black people do is kind of like them buddy comedies, you feel me? Like How High and all that type of shit. It's kind of like revolving around some hood shit or it's revolving around weed or it's revolving around music and, and hip hop. And I'm just like, bro, or they'll make like dance in movies. It's it's all the same. Or they'll do like a music biopic. When it comes to like an action movie, they still try to find some type of way to incorporate the same. That, that seems like that's all black people really do. Or those are like the only movies that they'll have with black people in it. They don't really never do anything with like fantasy or sci-fi. Like, you know, I, I just, I want black people to be more than what they show off in these type of movies. Cause we're more than this, bro. That's, that's all I'm saying. I know some people might misunderstand it. I'm just, I want us to freaking thrive and be better. And I want us to show people how creative we are and what we're capable of. If we just keep showing people hood shit and hip hop and all this, that's all they gonna think of us as. And then that's when we wanna get upset and wanna talk about how the world keeping us down and shit. But it's like, whenever we get a chance to make a movie, we make the same damn shit. How, how that makes no sense. How are you gonna say all this? But then that's when you do shit that keeps yourself down as well. Like I said, can't wait to hear your thoughts. Hope you like, I, I would actually go ahead and give this movie a, a B. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to say. I know some people are gonna feel a certain type of way about that, you feel me? I already know, I already know. Everybody's different, all film is subjective and shit. Now I got some other black classics I can check out like Coach Carter and whatever else, I don't know. <laughs> Coach Carter, po Poetic Justice, freaking, I, I know a lot of people wanted me to check out like Love Jones, uh, but with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.